Okay, so we're going to add a new RAM stick to my HP Pavilion um, X360 14-inch convertible laptop. According to CPU-Z and according to the task manager, the RAM that is already installed, it's an 8GB stick at 2400MHz speed with a CLI latency of 17 and timings 171739 17, 39 2T. So I was able to find a stick from Kingston, right on Amazon, that had the same characteristics. So I haven't opened the laptop yet to verify that, but um, that's what we're going to do right now. So first of all, we need to take these rubber pads, the ones on the back first, because we have two screws right there. Then we need to carefully take this cap over here something that it's kind of hard. Let me see if with a um, thinner screw head driver, I'm able to do it because there is, come on, there we go. There's a screw right there. So we leave this on the side. And now I'm gonna take this, put it here because that's where I'm gonna put my screws and now we have to take six screws in total. We have to take the three on the top and the three on the bottom. So, take them off. So after you've taken all the screws out, uh, you need to grab something made out of plastic to be able to, put the uh, to pull the cover away. So, the important thing here is that it has to be made out of plastic because if not, you may... Um, you may damage the plastic cover. So we're gonna start here on the hinges. There we go. And very carefully, we don't wanna break any of the latches. We're gonna start pulling away the plastic cover. Something that I forgot to say at the beginning was that before doing any of this, make sure to unplug the computer and turn it off. It's, that's actually the first step. So, there we go. There we go. So, took off the plastic. And this is, oh, I wanted to put this on the side. So you guys are, are able to see everything. So, in case you may want to know, this is our hard drive. It's under this um, plastic cover. You may be able, there are some nice videos around where you may be able to um, to check if, uh, well, you'll be able to see how to take the hard drive away and change it. I did, I, ch I ch um, changed it for an SSD and the difference was incredible. This is our battery, okay? Um, which some people say that you should take off um, which I'm gonna do just because it's safer, but our sodium models, modules, sorry, are under this um, cover. So we're gonna start by, by taking the battery off. Okay. Um, we need a smaller screw bit. Let's see if this one is small enough. Yeah, it is. Okay, perfect. So we got all the screws out. Now we can pull the battery out very carefully. There we go, this is the battery. As you can see, normal battery. Um, now let's go ahead and we're gonna do, and we're gonna install the new sodium module. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna very carefully peel this black tape back making sure that we don't pull or damage the heat pipe okay super important don't damage the heat pipe there we go okay perfect and now there's some tabs that we need to pull away around this cover it's basically a hit a heat sink I think of it as a heat sink.
There we go. And here it is. This is our sodium module, the one that it's already installed. If you want to check on it, we just have to pull this two back and there it comes. Now very carefully we pull it out and we see that it's a Samsung 8 gigabytes made in China. There's no much information to it right out of the box. So um, I'm sorry. So I'm just gonna, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, there we go. So that's what is already installed in the computer. I'm just gonna record it here. And now I'm gonna reinstall it back where it was, making sure to align the notch with the notch here at about 30 degrees. There we go. You see how easily it goes. Now we gently pull, push it back and it clicks. Now we're gonna take our new soda model module sorry and we're gonna this is the one that i got let me uh bring it here to the camera this is the one that i got uh from amazon about 37 dollars maybe it was like 40 dollars with with them tags and everything so we gotta align the notch on the ram module with the notch on the motherboard if you see if i try to do it on the other side it won't align so that that's how you know that you're doing it right. So we're gonna present the RAM stick very gently, it didn't go in, very gently pull it, uh, push it in, and then we push it down until the two latches click in place. There we go, already installed. Now we work our, our way backwards. We're gonna place the call it like cover but it's basically a hit, sh hit shield perfect and we put the tape back there we go now we're gonna place our battery back the same way that we pull it out okay now we're gonna screw everything back the way we did at first so just so you guys know, if this works, uh, you'll be able to see this video, you'll be able to watch this video, because if it doesn't work, I won't be able to edit the video. Just because editing, uh, doing like any type of video editing on a computer with only eight gigabytes of RAM and a i3 dual core processor I don't know if you guys have ever tried it but a full HD 1080p 60 frames per second video it's quite heavy so if you try to um, yeah if you try to edit video with those um, specs yeah you're gonna have fun I'm not gonna close it yet I'm not gonna put all the screws yet because I want to try and see if it works first. Because if it doesn't, then I'm in trouble. So I'm gonna take this away and let's let's see if it works. So we pull it up. Let's see. I've seen people having some sort of issues with it. Um. Oh, sorry. That's not the power button. Click the wrong button. Uh, where's the power button? This computer. I always forget. It's right here run button sorry so I've seen some people having issues with it um with this like putting a new memory RAM a new memory stick in their computers and everything so there it goes it's trying to turn on just something here real quick just in case let's plug in the laptop Okay, it looks, it looks like, let me fix here the angle, it looks like it may have worked, so we're gonna see if it's true or not. Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. Well, kind 
it looks like it's working. Um, it's starting as fast as it should. So let's see. Task manager. Let's see what the task manager says. Uh, performance memory. There we go. So we have two of two. Available memory 15.8. Pretty good, yeah. If you say, if I may say so, um, well, as you can see, like I told you, um, there's only a dual core processor, but as you can see here, 15, I don't know if you may be able to see it, but 15.8 gigabytes. So it looks like the memory is working. Let me open real quick here CPU Z and see what we got there. Um, so this is a great program if you want to know what's running on your computer. Uh, memory, there we go. Channel number, dual, size 16 gigabytes. The timings are the same. Uh, the frequency will vary depending, but the one, as we can see here, um, on the task manager, we're able to see that, yeah, in fact, 16 gigabytes of RAM, oh, come on, get out, wait, 16 gigabytes of RAM included, and this is great, this is really good. Well, there we have it, so I'm going to close this, close this, close this, and there you, got it. There you have it, guys. Um, easy to do, easy peasy, you can do it yourself, just make sure to search on the on Google and everything for oh let me show you something something so oh, I should have show you that but anyway search for um, what's the type of RAM that you have included so you won't have any types of um, disparities between the RAM that you're installing and the RAM that your computer has uh, but there you go now we have a 16 gigabytes laptop which is more than enough to do almost anything on a laptop um, of course, my graphics are not that good, so I won't be able to game or anything like that. But as far as video editing, um, using programs like Photoshop, AutoCAD, and things like that, I will be able to do some work on it. Um, of course, I'm going to be constrained because of the Core i3 dual core that I have, the CPU. But there you go. There you have it, guys. Works perfectly. Um, thank you for watching. And let me know if you have any questions down in the comments.